Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today we take a look at a new visual novel on Nintendo Switch. This is Root Letter Last Answer. This was released on the Switch on September 3rd, 2019. Its trigger price is $29.99 US, or your regional equivalent, and it's developed by Kadokawa Games and published by P-Cube. So Root Letter was originally released in 2016 on PS4, PS Vita, Windows, Android, and iOS. And now this last answer version is a revamp with additional content, live action sequences as well. So if we actually go to the options, and we go to the graphics mode, so drama mode I assume is like the live action CGs, and original mode is like the illustrated ones. So we will we'll start on drama mode, maybe once we've seen a couple we'll switch it to the original mode just to see how they compare. Um, I think that's a really, really cool, cool detail. You can you can switch between them. Uh, let's start it up. <sighs> My name. Uh, sure. We'll just we'll go by whoever they want. Yeah, that's fine. Takayuki. I'm in my room, sorting through things. I was getting ready to move to my new job after quitting my job at a design firm I'd had for 11 years. My parents are having some renovations done, so I came back to clean it up a bit. I should tidy up. I start to put things away. Ah, oh, look around the area. Okay, check. You can move the cursor with the left stick. When it turns red, press the A button to interact. Ooh, a little bit like Phoenix Wrighty. Oh, you can also zoom with the right stick. That's awesome. Okay, let's have a look at these. Hello? These there. Oh, what's this? Nani. This is a stack of letters. They're from Aya Fumino, Shimane, Shimane Pre Prefecture. Jesus. Aya Fumino? How long has it been? 15 years ago, I put an ad in a magazine to find a pen pal. Aya Fumino saw it and sent me a letter. I think I have a picture of her somewhere. Okay, can we find a picture of her? Found it! We did. I looked at her photo in the envelope. Okay, so that's like the real, real life one. It's a photograph of Aya. She looked cute in her school uniform. Crying for college entrance exams was insane, and her letters helped me get through it. A girl pen pal from an unknown city. Little by little, I fell for her. Except... When I was close to graduating from high school, I sent her my 10th letter, but I never heard back from her. It felt like she'd broken up with me. Huh? At the bottom of the pile, I find an unopened letter. This one's unopened. When was it sent? I look at the envelope, but there's no postmark. Why isn't there a postmark? I open the letter and read it. Well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> My hands are shaking. What is this? I pour over every detail of the letter. She definitely wrote this. Is this a response to the tenth letter I sent? But why isn't it postmarked? Even if I wanted to contact her, I only know her address. I look at the address on the envelope. Shimane Prefecture. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a little bit like Phoenix, right? Where you like collect evidence, kind of? I don't think it's going to be like courtrooms or anything. I think it's going to be like you kind of detective. How many years has it been since I last looked out of the city like this? In the bus on the way to the airport, I take the letter out and look at it over again. When I was a senior in high school, 15 years ago, I exchanged 10 letters with a pen pal named Aya Fumino. Okay, so I wonder if we... Uh, how do I get to the, the menu? Menu, please. <laughs> Help. I was going to try and switch the graphics mode, but there's actually no way to get to the menu right now. Probably because we're in a prologue. Hopefully. My memories of that time almost faded under the weight of the daily grind, but I'm remembering now. The final letter from Aya Fumino, the one without a postmark, said I killed someone. Among other things, the disturbing letter made me want to find out the truth about her. I finish packing, and I'm ready to head to the airport. I look at the photo of Aya in my hand. Also, I can finally see her in person for the first time. On the way to the airport, I close my eyes, but sleep doesn't come. Oh! 
Oh my. ごめんなさい。知らない人です。何を調べてるの Okay, well, I think you know what we need to do now. I'm gonna restart the game, I'm gonna change the graphics mode, and we're gonna do a sweet side-by-side -side of the two different, of like the opening cutscene with the two different art styles. So bear with me for a moment. ふみの綾は二十五年前に亡くなってるんだよ。そういう名前のクラスメートはいません。話せるようなことは何もないわ。どうして彼女のことを調べてるんだ。ごめんなさい。知らない人です。何を調べてるの？十通の手紙が導く
学校一の秀才のメガネそれにかけがえのない親友彼らと出会えて本当に良かったと思っていますあなたには心を許せる友達はいますかお返事待っていますふみのあや PS 休みは何をしていますかはい。I guess you could say I have friends. They're really just some guys I've known since elementary school. There's the quick tempered, muscular George, the eccentric, argumentative Ronpa, and the comical Shofukute. You know, like that one comedian. I have an. Oh!、Uh... <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. I didn't need.、Uh... Think about the questions she asked at the end of her letter and how you responded 15 years ago. What do you do on days off? Um, I oh, interesting. What do we do? I stay home and read. Oh. Do you like to read? Yeah, that was my reply. Interesting. So this will presumably shape the outcome of the game. I said some childish things in those letters, which reminds me I haven't seen my friends from back then in ages. Oh, we're almost there. I made it to Izumo, Izumo Airport. Its official name is Izumo Enmusabi, Enmusubi Airport. It fits a romantic place like Izumo, I suppose, putting the love knot in the name of the airport. This whole thing was really impulsive on my part. I hadn't bothered reading up on Shimane before coming here. I wonder if I can buy a guidebook at the airport. Do you not have bones? Ah,、uh, these look like guidebooks. I found a guidebook about Shimane Prefecture. Hooray. The guidebook lists famous sightseeing spots and has a map of the area. There are all kinds of tourist attractions in Shimane. Hmm, this looks good. No point in hanging around the airport. The address on the envelope is in Matsui City, so I'll start there. I'm minding my own business when Shimaneko approaches. Oh, that's the Shimane mascot character, Shimaneko. So you're Shimaneko? I'm Max. Nice to meet you. I'm not here for sightseeing, but I'll go if I have time. The scenery and people are magnificent. Cool, looking forward to it. Yeah, I know about Lake Shinji. There are monsters there too? This guidebook is useful, I noticed. By the way, I'm trying to get to Matsui. How do I get there? There's a bus that stops in front of the airport. Sounds good. What? The Ichibata Electric Railroad from that famous movie is here too. I would love to ride that train into the city. It's a long journey, but that's the fun of traveling. So, this is Izumo Grand Shrine Station. Inside, the station looks like a church, with white walls stretching to the ceiling. The stained glass windows splatter the artwork in the center with colored light. Okay, so from here I can take the Ichibata Electric Railroad to Matsue. Let's have a look. I'd better get going. Oh, okay. We didn't get. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I jump on the train. This is the famous Ichibata Electric Railroad. The scenery outside the train is gorgeous. After a while, I see Lake Shinji. There's a fishing boat on the surface of the lake, making gentle ripples in the water. Weird how such a simple thing is so calming. Is it nostalgia or deja vu? The Matsui Shinji Lake Onsen Station is the last stop on the Ichibata Electric Railroad. I should double check where I'm going. I take out the letter and check Aya Fumino's address. I should be able to find it with my phone's GPS. I turn on my cell phone. Ah, the phone screen lets you use items, save, load, and change game options. So I, I just had to get to the options to, to this part. Okay, so presumably you can. You can switch. No, you actually cannot switch. 
but maybe you can like um, like save and then go back to the main menu and then switch between like the, the drama mode and the original mode. I think I prefer this version though. Let's do a little save. I type her address into my phone and the GPS shows me the route. It's a bit of a hike from here. Well, I need the exercise though, so I'll walk. Oh, and then we go move. Wow, look at how cool the menu UI is. Okay, so we'll go overall map. That's the only place we can go to right now, the Fumino house. That'll do fine. Oh, it's so nice. I arrive at a residential area. I get to the address, but there's nothing here. I check the map on my phone. Well, that's weird. According to the map, it should be right here, but... It's just an empty lot full of weeds. I wonder if there's someone around that I can ask. Uh, do we check? I can see another house nearby. Looks like a very ordinary home. Oh, this is very cool. It's a little bit like Phoenix, right? Where you kind of explore each location. Hey, there's a mailman. I'll talk to him. I'll show the address on the letter to the passing mailman. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, ask. Okay, we'll ask about this place. Uh, excuse me, is this... Wait, what was the address? I'll show the mailman the address on the letter. Okay, so we could show, like, anything we wanted, but... We'll... Logically, we should be showing this envelope. I'm trying to get to this address. Is, is this the right place? I think the Fumino family used to live in a house here. Do you know anything about that? I see. あれ。でも、ここってもしかして以前は洋館が建っていたんじゃないかな。火事で焼失したと聞いたけど、確かここですよ。15 years ago, could it be? I wonder if what she said in her letter had anything to do with this. No, thank you. You're a big help. Oh, great. I never even imagined that her house might just be gone. My stomach suddenly growls at me and I remember how long I've been traveling. I'll think about this more on a full stomach. I wonder if there are any good restaurants near here. Maybe there's something in the guidebook. Uh, inventory... Oh no, we just have to look at the guidebook. There's a soba restaurant called Kamiarian within walking distance. I think I'll check it out. Um, I guess we move? Overall map? Yeah. Kamiarian. Maybe we can ask somebody there. I arrive at the front of the Kamiarian soba restaurant. Look at this place, I bet the food is great. As I step inside, I can feel the prestigious atmosphere of this spacious restaurant. <laughs> it's quite spacious for Japan, actually. <laughs> when I take a seat, a young waiter brings over a menu. Hey, Rasei! Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. I accept a menu from Sanpei. Uh, no, actually. Sanpei disappears into the back. Well, okay then. I'm not sure what a guy like that is doing in an old school noodle joint. I look at the menu. If you've got a big appetite, try the Yamata no Orochi Soba. Guess that's their specialty. Sanpei comes over. I've got a big stomach. Bring me Yamata no Orochi Soba. Hey! Yamata no Orochi Cha! Sanpei goes back in the kitchen. As I wait, I get hungry and hungry. I can't wait to see what I'm actually eating. Um. Can we ask anyone? <laughs> Strike up a conversation when no one's around is something people do when they don't have any friends. Not that I have a lot of friends, but still. 
This is such a cool visual level, holy crap. I guess we just check. What do we check? It's a school photo. It must be from a special day. Oh. I'm looking around the restaurant when he sets the Yamato no Orochi soba down in front of me. The dish is a giant serving of cold soba with thick slices of eel on the sides named after the mythological eight-headed serpent. This looks worthy of my stomach. I dig into the Yamato no Orochi soba. Oh, this is delicious. It's so good. The soba's consistency is perfect, and eel is soft with a lot of fat. I'm so glad I was born in Japan. Since it's this good, I think I can eat the, the whole thing. Done. Man, that was good. Hearing this, the rough and tumble restaurant owner emerges from the kitchen. I'll reply in max mode. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm stuffed. He doesn't seem very pleased. I'll give him a better response. Okay, so I have to choose the right response. What am I looking for here? That one, maybe? I am a max big eater. <laughs> I'm always all in. I'm Max. What a polite answer. I better give a polite response. The soba and eel were both very delicious. I'm from Tokyo. No, not exactly. Uh, maybe we can ask now. Actually, there's something I'd like to ask. There's a big empty lot nearby. There was a fire there 14 or 15 years ago. Uh -huh. I think he had a daughter in high school at the time. Genkichi cocks his head to one side in confusion. Two customers come into the restaurant. Okay, we can still ask about the high school girl. Uh, Mr. Genkichi. Uh, about Miss Fumino. That's very kind. Half price, thanks. Wait, no, no, I wanted to ask you a bit more about the fire at the Fumino house. I see. Sumo legs and hips? Kinkichi goes back into the kitchen. I guess I'll ask about the fire somewhere else. Uh, let's ask him about the fire. Is there a library nearby? I'll research the fire there. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to leave the video there, because I assume we'll, we'll go there and we'll find out a bit more about the fire. We probably won't find anything about Aya for a while. Um, bit surprised that the the opening cutscene seemed to spoil quite a few things like the opening line was like she died 15 years ago <laughs> I would have quite liked to discover that like you know an hour into the game or something not immediately um, so that's really weird otherwise this looks so good there's so much to this you can interact with so much you've got all these different options and like every location you go to really really impressed like I said, the exploring and the wandering around in the world is quite like Phoenix Wright. Um, and I guess you do kind of gather evidence and stuff, which you then present to people. So yeah, it's, it's pretty similar to Phoenix Wright. All right, that was Root Letter Last Answer on Nintendo Switch. 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!